Surrounded by stunning views, this farm atop Gould Hill in Kuntukuk is the top pick for many families out for a little apple picking in the fall. So it is uh, absolutely beautiful and uh, I think that's what endears a lot of people to the location is just the, the view that you have looking up to the White Mountains. Tim Bassett left his marketing job and bought the orchard about 10 years ago. He grew up on a dairy farm and was longing to get back to farm life without the animals. Apples are easier? Apples are easier. They do not get out. They don't jump the fence. Um, you know, you don't call the vet for them. <laughs> there's, all, there's a lot of bonuses to apple trees. So you don't have to feed them twice a day. You milk them twice. You don't have to do anything. The Bassets were fans of Gould Hill Farm long before they owned it. So many things make it special for us. One is, you know, we used to come here with our kids. When they were little, we have lots of pictures of them here. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, we love this place. It's a town staple, a town favorite. And I grew up right on the other side of this hill, so I've coming here my whole life. Your daughter obviously is loving it. Loves it. Well, she's been coming here her whole life too. <laughs> views are outstanding, very nice views. So um, apples are excellent. Everything about the place we just love. And these are some winter bananas. Winter banana? Winter banana, yeah. Gould Hill grows about 100 varieties of apples. They put in high density trees to produce more fruit in a smaller space. These require a lot more to <laughs> to plant and the trellis system to hold them and you have to irrigate them but it does do uh, a lot more production so it's a lot better in the long run. These days the orchard is branching out from the old max and grafting new varieties of apples right onto the existing trunks. Better use of a Macintosh is what we like to say. So everyone's got Macintosh, not everyone has blue pearmain. Limb spacers and ties are used as the new tree takes shape making the branches, training them to go out to form another scaffold of the tree. It's like apple architecture. <laughs> I don't know if it's Frank Lloyd Wright or not, but it's uh, <laughs> creation of a new tree. Not just for eating, Gould Hill is pressing hand-picked apples into sweet cider and using some batches to create hard cider for its Kentuckook Cider Company. So you're starting with the sparkling? and ending with the maple. In the orchard's tasting room, the cider is served up in flights, arranged dry to sweet. My wife's out picking apples, so it's a great place for me to hang out and enjoy a little cider. So you say this is just super sweet? It's like candy. Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. It is. So it's fun to make hard cider with. Cider maker Mark Strader says crab apples like these often create the best tasting blends. That looks like a cherry. It does. Spice. Try that one. What, what is it again? <laughs> it's a spitter. <laughs> it's tart. Can I go back to this one? You can. <laughs> I'm very impressed. It's very interesting and I like it. I might even buy some. <laughs> might have to buy one of each though. <laughs> One is blended with Cape Cod cranberries, another Maine blueberries. One is sweetened with honey from Tamworth, and another with maple syrup made right on the farm. Open all year on weekends, the tasting room has proven to be a great addition. Definitely different, a different variety. It's uh, very good, fresh. We've been fortunate enough that a lot of people like our cider, so they'll leave with a growler uh, or a four pack or both. Upstairs in the barn, bakery, and store, they're frying up their Gould Hill apple cider donuts. They sell 4,000 a day on a busy weekend. Baked from scratch, apple pie, apple crisp, and their pumpkin whoopie pies are also a favorite. You see people come in on the weekends like, oh, we came for the whoopie pies, and they're, they're buying like 10 at a time, and like, we'll, we'll be here next weekend. Horse-drawn carriage rides through the orchard are offered on fall weekends. The Bassets are all about creating an apple-picking experience that will have families coming back year after year. What do you think about this place? It is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. It's a great day and lots of apples and cider donuts. <laughs> when we bought, that was the one thing we wanted to do. We wanted to make the farm experiential. We wanted people to come here to have a good experience, to go back to tell people, you got to try this place, or to just have memories for themselves and, and us be a part of that.